Sunset Conversations is a live stream project which brings in conversation international art related people. It is an alternative to superficial IG story content. To build up something with a stronger intellectual value, the conversations at dusk time revolves around creativity and dreams. Very natural and unpretentious setting. Sunset Conversations, session number 10. We're going to have the world of artists live today and I'm really excited. I can't believe how... I was a little bit nervous to be honest and uh, that generally is because I hope he's excited as I am. Hey there. Hello. How are you doing? Hi and welcome to my show. Thank you very much. So Moises, is that correct? Is that how you spell your name? That is, Moises, yeah. You know, you created the biggest platform of uh, uh, art influencing online. Yeah. Yes. It's actually very fulfilling. Um, I've always loved art, and mm -hmm. most of all, I like social media. So being able to combine both, it was just the best feeling for me, yeah. Fantastic. So where, where are you based? I'm based in Dominican Republic. It's, Dominican uh, Republic. It's an island oh. in the Caribbean, south of the United yeah. States. I'm not sure if you're familiar. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky enough to know where it is, yes. And I, I wish I will be there soon. Awesome. So I, I have lots of questions I want to ask. I mean, first of all, thanks a lot to, to accept my invitation because um, it's very rare that someone in your position would accept that. And it's not about the amount of followers, but it's because they are scared to show themselves well, for some reason. Thank you for, and, your, thank you for your invitation, actually. Um, I've, I've never had the experience of having like an interview through Instagram Live. And I was excited to like, you know, for the opportunity. Yeah. Great, great. I mean, uh, thank you very much again. And, um, I mean, I actually been following you quite a lot. I know you're an artist as well. You, you draw using your pencils and you're very, uh, good. You, you really catch uh, portraits and put on paper those, uh, faces in a very marvelous way. But I wanted to ask you something else. Like, how, um, do you relate with, um, social media in what sense in sense because what you've created is is a very um influencing platform that is really shaping the new world of art and i wondered have you done it following an idea or you just happened by chance um like for instance just it could be an idea that you wanted to have a revolution in the world that of, of art, you know, for instance, yeah. you, you will want to fight the gallery market or something else. I understand. At first, when I first created the page, right, uh, Instagram was very different at the time. And, and I mm -hmm. think the spotlight for artists was different as well. Like you, you, you could see artists growing very fast. Um, that's actually the time where I developed my own page, which I have mm -hmm. more than 100,000 uh, followers. And that, that's not very common to see artists grow in that way. So yeah. at first, I created the page to help other artists do the same, right? Mm -hmm. That was back in 2015. I, okay. I, you know, I was excited. I was posting art. I was helping people. But Instagram has changed a little bit since. So it, it's not like, even though that's my wish, I, I don't feel like it's able to be, it, it's able to become a reality these days. I'm still working mm -hmm. towards it. I, you know, I'm still trying to, uh, post uh, uh, what I find interesting. However, sometimes I have to post what the people like, what is going to be trendy, you know? Oh. And, yeah, absolutely. And for the sake of art, it's, it's actually not good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So I really appreciate you have a sort of ethic that you stick to, but sometimes it's hard to keep it because, of course, it turns into a mission, a job, and a, and a new way of putting everyone out there. Exactly. And inevitably, it's going to lose that selection that happens in the galleries, for instance. But because, I mean, I understand that sometimes people, they perhaps looking for something else. 
for instance, for, a, for an art which is more accessible, which is more understandable, and uh, perhaps is intended more of a, um, uh, not a memes, a memes, you know, a, 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 the, the um, significance of memes. You know, this kind of art is also a joke sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, I realized lots of your pages somehow get more uh, engagement when there's something like that which gets posted. And uh, I have... I mean, yeah. And also, like, even though it's embarrassing, like, posting dogs and posting cute things, you know, um, mm -hmm. these kind of pages have, have lost, uh, like, the, the sense of art itself. And if you do yeah. post art as it is, you don't get mm -hmm. much engagement. So you have to sacrifice that for you know, for the sake of art, and it's kind of sad, but I don't know. But my question is, could it be that art has, it has changed many times in history, it's now changing again and becoming something which is more connected to, uh, like, let's say, imagery, fun, fun imagery. And so it's coming out of that museum and it's becoming a meme. That's interesting. Um, I think that art is always evolving. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't thought of that actually, but maybe in the next I'll, couple I'll, of years. I, yeah, in the next couple of years, perhaps going to uh, you know the Guggenheim and see the sort of cat's joke yeah. in a train or something. <laughs> I mean, it, as social media is growing and growing, artists are growing uh, within social media as well. And I don't know if you can, if you have seen some artists design like this 3D stories that makes no yeah. sense at all. Have you seen them? Yeah, it's yeah, like, absolutely. It's like they, they design, um, you know, using software, they design like a character or, or some yeah. people dancing. It makes no sense. It's like totally mean, absolutely. Mean, meaningless, I mean. Yeah. And, and they're memes and they're, some people consider them art. So maybe artists go yeah. in that way in social media, I'm not sure. Yeah, who knows? I mean, it's, it's a time in life where things are changing really fastly and it's hard to predict. No one expected how Instagram would have changed art together with lots of other fields of creativity. Yeah, so in terms, like, can, we, Lena, can I ask you something to yourself? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, this um, dream became for you a business and it actually shaped your life uh, very differently. But, uh, can I ask you, in uh, in terms of, do you feel trapped in it? Like sometimes, I, do you feel trapped uh, by, by your phone, by your posting thing? Do you have those moments with which you want to break your smartphone and your Instagram? That, that, that's, I would say it's very a very accurate question. I've had mm -hmm. this page since 2015, right? So it's four years. Um, I'm also studying medicine, so I'm a very busy person. Like I keep, I have to study all the time, pretty much. And mm -hmm. I've actually hired people to post for me uh, at a cool. certain point because it's 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 so hard to, you know, to be up to date and posting the the latest artwork, you know, to mm -hmm. get more engagement and just um, grow the page, right? So yeah. sometimes I've taken a break, honestly, because it's. As you say, it makes me want to break my phone sometimes. And yeah. it's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Yeah, so it, sometimes I put I the phone away and just... It's quite like, addictive at the same like, time. Huh? It's quite addictive as well. Yeah, it is addictive. It is addictive. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but and tell me a bit about your personal page, you know, the pencil drawing. Can you say that again? Can you tell me something about your personal uh, page? You know, the, the... yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, actually, th this page was the product of my previous one. Um, mm -hmm. I'm an artist. I, I draw at my Instagram handle is Pencilgram. Uh, you, you guys mm -hmm. can look it up. And yeah. I started drawing in 2014 mm -hmm. in order to build a page. Like, my main purpose was... Um, Apart from art and just, you know, developing and growing as an artist, I wanted to create an audience on Instagram. So as mm -hmm. I was like from scratch, you can see from day one, even my first drawings, they're on Instagram. And I 
documented my growth um, mm -hmm. as an artist. And if you go back to my first post, you can see how uh, my drawings were so much different than they are right now. Okay. Uh, lately, I've, I've been taking a break because of what I've said of my studies, my uh, medicine studies. But um, mm. last December, I, I got the chance to publish an artwork. And I, I hope I can, you know, keep doing it, even, even if it takes me way more, way more, more time to complete it. Okay. So let me ask you something. I, I can tell that you already grow, grew like a really strong business that it, nowadays it seems very durable. Who knows what the future is going to become. So how come you still want to be a doctor? Um, you know, it, sometimes it's hard to take that risk, like to drop out of, uh, out of school and just um, take social media as your full-time job. I've, yeah. I've actually have family that did that and they're very successful today. I have friends that did that. They're, they're very successful too, but um, I, I love art, right? But I do love uh, knowledge and, mm -hmm. and also, you know, medicine overall. So I'm not saying that I will, I will stop, you know, working with social media at some point, but I would like to say both things hand in hand. You know, I, I'm, I don't want to let go of either, either of them. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I agree as well. And uh, I liked what you said about knowledge and art. And what I do, I try to put them together. So <laughs> tell me something about, um, you know, what do you think about the art market? What do you think about, you know, what has been created in contemporary art? You know, the the gallery system, the sort of very closed system, which is hard to access for many artists. What do you think about it? Mm, that's a good question. Um, in my local, uh, where I'm based, art is not really, you know, like a business. It's, it's, no, it's, more like a it's not, not, you know, uh, it's hard for artists. However, what I've known of other places is that Contemporary art is very rigged. If you, if you, it, it's a strong word, but that's how I feel it is because um, buyers and the artist and the gallery they have a kind of you know business within and inside them. So a work that is maybe not as high in price as you would think, um, the seller and the, the gallery they just you know kind of contact make contact and. They raise the prices to a certain level, which is ridiculous. And I, I don't know, but I feel like like artists on Instagram, they might be uh, a better source of gallery artwork and just mm -hmm. proper artwork itself than what you see in most galleries, most contemporary galleries today. Yeah, I, I see, like I see. You find a lot of talents inside Instagram. Yeah, I mean... Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot of talent on Instagram and I think we should be a bit more careful in selecting, visually selecting the good uh, content. And I'm not talking about art because I have to say whatever is art is something done by heart. Yeah, I agree. Art. So, I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's nothing hard. Yeah, there is a message. I don't mind where there is very high level or very, you know, uh, kind of um, almost naive sort of art. I think there's always a very good content in it. And uh, that is not the issue that we have right now on social media. I think... I think, I think the... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry? I yeah. That... So I... Sorry? <laughs> Sorry, um, a good example, maybe the best one would be Banksy. He's totally against yeah. the business of galleries and, you know, art in a, an overpriced way. He, he, he's just contradicting the system in every way. He has all, this, all the, uh, the potential to be like famous and rich, but he just turns that away and just decides to do art as a, as a pure form. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And also, sometimes it gives it away for free without even um, announcing it in the streets. Um, 
created his own uh, image on it, and he did it very well. So good for him. And uh, in terms of, um, let's say, your vision, what, what's your vision of your page? Do you want to, uh, have you got a vision, or are you going to go with the flow? Um, as the things are evolving right now with Instagram, I, I don't know, but at a certain point, um, pages like, you know, like mine will stop existing. So lately I'm going with the flow, as you say, uh, you know, adapting to change, um, see what people like, see what people don't like, um, and just go with the flow. That, that's a good go with the flow. question. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say that sometimes when you posted some of my artworks in your page, I've been co contacted by some um, American singers, you know, that they wanted to buy my art. As if your page was, yes, as if your page was very, uh, it was legitimating my production in a sort of way. And I have to thank you for that, yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean, it's as, you know, you created this online gallery, which is really, I have to say, your page is really good. Uh, you, you, kind of, you tend to have a good balance between, you know, high-end art, gallery-based production to, you know, some more fun sort of uh, videos and things like this. And I, I think it's a good balance to keep yourself alive. Uh, being such a big page. I mean, it's hard to grow a page as big just putting, you know, like museum objects and exactly. things. I, I summarized perfectly my, my line of thought. That's exactly. exactly the struggle today. I think, I think even the, the biggest and most renowned museums uh, in the world, they have, I don't know, one tenth of your followers. Yeah. And that's because that yeah. art is just made, you know, for not for amateurs, not for art lovers, but for art intenditors, you know, for, for art, uh, for artists, perhaps. Exactly. And for collectors. While you may art for students as well, for high school people. Yeah. And, and all things. I would say that the vision of my page, now that I think of it, will be to introduce art to these newer generations that are, um, you know, all over social media, but they have no idea. So mm -hmm. may maybe, you know, to bring more people to get their attention, you post this little fun stuff, as you said. Yeah. But also, mm -hmm. they can see art, like real art. And maybe, maybe they even become artists at some point. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think uh, there's, a, there's a good more artistic movement in the world that is fighting against, you know, the unintellectual movement, which is also very strong. And, uh, and it's very solid, I have to say. And I'm quite happy that people begin to understand that there's a lot of potential in creativity. And maybe they want to get closer to, to art. Um, well, I mean, you said already quite a lot, and I'm really happy. I mean, being in your position, I'd like you to send a message to, to all your followers as well. If you want to improvise something and, you know, just share a good message for, for the art lovers. Um, yeah, I would love the opportunity. I think this is the first time many of my followers actually see me in person. Absolutely. Um, I've decided to, you know, separate my, my two pages, Pencilgram and World of Artists, because um, I, I don't want people to be biased or anything. Just I like to remain anonymous or I did in the past, but um, I'll, I'll want to thank everyone for following me. Without you guys, my page will not exist. I love sharing art for you guys also. Uh, I would like to do that many, many years. And thank you for the engagement. I mean, great. I like to give back to the art community as I've received personally through my artwork. Great, Moises. Very nice. So if you have something to ask me, I'm happy to answer. If not, sure. I think we uh, get to an end of session 10, Santa Conversations. But I'm happy um, to, to answer you some questions if you have. Yeah.
um, I know you posted uh, your work in my page, right? And, and I've always been curious, what media do you use? Like, how do you do those intrinsic patterns? Um, can you talk about that? So, uh, my art is a, is a process-based art. I develop myself a machine that draws for me. Oh. So it's it's tech tech it's technique based project. It's a contemporary art project, and uh, what I'm doing is I create an oil based painting, and then I process that painting into my machine, which converts each brush stroke into a line, and then the same machine applies that line an infinite number of time potentially, but then I just uh, stop it when I sort of am happy with the painting. So it's an ongoing research. Uh, and I will talk about it because it's been, it's been a big journey of my life. It's now three years that I've been working on it. I started uh, connecting to all the people in the world that were doing some sort of um, generative art research. And I developed my own work. So I have to say my work, it's a technique-based contemporary project which ends into abstract painting, but it's more of a conceptual artwork, I have to say. So the most interesting bit is not the painting itself, but is the entire process of art creation. I can tell, like, when I see your work, I get, like, a sense of peace. I don't know, it's, I imagine, like, the ocean, you know. Absolutely. I really I have, I have. Your friends from me. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's also where, where I get my titles from, you know, the natural elements and stuff. It's rooted in the history of art. This technique is no, uh, I didn't invent it, but it's something that was always existed with engravings, for instance, with line drawings and printmaking. I'm, I'm kind of using the same principle, but applying them computationally. So it's something that has been uh, around for, for a long time. And I feel very honored to carry on that research. And uh, I'm, I'm now cooking more stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm really, I really made my life of it. You know, I, I find the strength of surviving my fears. And, uh, you know, even this project, Sounds of Conversations, is also a big mission. It's a non-for-profit um, show, of course. I mean, at least for now. And uh, I have to say, it gives me a lot of... Um, no anxiety in a bad way, but for instance, today that I had this big conversation, it wasn't uh, as a normal day. You know, I had to just organize it a little bit. So it brings a little bit of stress, but it pays back because I'm sending a good message to people, and this is what I want to do in my life. Uh, I think it's also great. It's a great idea. I think you're the first one to do this, actually. I've never seen somebody do this on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, I'm, I'm trying. Thank you very much. I'll try to bring it to a good level because we really need some uh, good content online. We need to fight superficial content which surrounds us and submerges us. And, you know, I agree. We need some time to deal break from that. I'm not against that totally, but we need a break from that and bring some good powerful ideas in there, in, in Instagram, on Instagram stories, on Instagram posts, and on YouTube and everywhere on those platforms. There's so much rubbish that I, I'm saying, you know, I believe, I believe in freedom and people should do whatever they want, but we need an alliance of people who fight that superficial content and puts on the pot something which has a stronger intellectual value. And you see people loving it. You know, they, what they write is just wonderful. And uh, that gives me power, power, you know, power and uh, strength to continue the stream, to not stop it and to get more people like you in, because I know you have something to share. That's, that's very, very true. I love this idea. I love, you know, the purpose and the, the mission it has to engage people with art, which right. is not common today, yeah. Right.
So Moises, let's keep uh, bringing good karma in. Let's share good thoughts and uh, thanks again for having uh, accepted my request. Thanks to you. And uh, I, I think, thank you very much. And I think maybe in a, I would like to talk another time with you, but perhaps next time in six months, we could focus on your pencil drawings themselves. Because I'm sure you say about it. And today we concentrated more on the Instagram influencing scene, but next time I want you to put out your words in, uh, and speak about your own work. Okay? I would love to do that. I would love to do that. And it was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet so, you. So uh, have a good evening and thanks again. Bye-bye.